Uh, in this video, I'm going to explain uh, our ALP program to find the smallest number in an array of 32-bit numbers. In the last video, I explained the, how to find the largest numbers. Same program you can modify. So go to the source group, add a new item to the source group, and select the ASM file, write smallest dot uh, smallest 32 dot C. Sorry, not C file. It is a ASM file dot S file you have to do. So smallest. Uh, 32 bit or any name you can do the label so you can give any label dot s file so like this you can give and click add and after that you will blank window will come editor window in the editor window you have to type this program so the type you have to type the first title you can give in the first page uh, first line uh, write a semicolon and uh, you can write a comment as uh, alp to find the smallest number so next line you have to give some space area okay smallest is the area name and it's a code memory and it's a read-only memory next line is also you have to give one space then export uh, space underscore underscore main two times underscore main so it is a label underscore underscore lab main so in the fourth line don't give any space so labels and variable numbers no need to give any space so underscore underscore main then uh, next line is move r5 comma 6 because seven data are there six comparison you have to do move r1 is equal to address of array the R1 will be loaded with the starting address of the first data. So in the array now, actually, R1 is actually having the address of this uh, variable 444, the data 444, 32-bit data 4444. That starting address will be loaded to array address, starting address will be loaded to R1. After that, load R2, comma square bracket R1. That means in the R1, we have address of array. The content of that uh, address will be copied to R2. After that, R1 will be post incremented by 4 because each data actually it is 32 bit. 32 bit means 4 4 bytes. So next data is available at the 4 bytes. Again, next data is available at next 4 bytes, next 4 bytes, next 4 bytes. So 32 bit means 4 4 bytes. So you have to add hash 4. Okay, it is a post increment. After a bracket, it is hash 4. In, to include hash 4, it's in a bracket. Before transfer only, it will add plus 4 and uh, it will uh, the times for that content so now load r2 comma r1 uh, after the transfer of first data to r2 r1 will be incremented by 4 next uh, that uh, it is pointing to the second data now second data will be copied to r4 again also it is a uh, post incremented by 4 r1 is a pointer for this because r1 is having the address of array after each transfer r1 is should be incremented by 4 that's why we are using post increment of 4 bytes so compare R2 with R4, it will compare the first data with the second data. If it is lower, first number is lower, then no need to exchange. Otherwise, you have to exchange R4 content to R2. So always R2 will have smallest number here. So I'll start uh, compile here. So you have to give array DCD seven data you can give. If you give 10 data, you have to change this one to nine comparison nine, hash nine you have to write. Okay. So another area is declared as a result. It is a data memory where you can do read and write operation. We are going to write the smallest number into this uh, variable small number dcd00, define constant data. And we have to write that smallest number into this location. So that's why this should be declared as a data memory and which is actually a read write memory. So compile this program. Uh, you are going to get zero errors and one warning. Okay. So warning if you want to delete means uh, you can give infinite stop here only. Okay, you can give align or branch stop, uh, stop, branch to stop that line. Is that uh, warning you can ignore. Errors must be zero. So after that you can start debug by clicking this start debug button. Next, uh, it is going to actually start a file line number one thirty one which is load R not with uh, uh, is equal to underscore underscore mean it is a in our program, we wrote export underscore underscore main. So it will fetch the address of that uh, label and it will jump to that. So within two steps, it should come to our main program. Otherwise, some problem with your project creation. So better you create new project in the new folder and uh, comment those five lines, which is explained in the first tutorial, step-by-step uh, -step tutorial of ARM. Uh, I explained which are the five lines you have to comment, how to execute step-by-step. -step. You follow that. Within two steps, you should come to our program. So load R5 with 5, 6, then load address of array with R1, 
so r1 address is how much 124 in in memory window 2 you type uh, uh, 120 120 is address actually first instruction is executed that's why its post increment takes place and 124 so starting address is 120 that 444 is uh, once it is read from the memory it becomes red color so it is already red that 444 is already red to which one uh, to register uh, r2 okay and uh, r1 is post incremented by 4 120 becomes 124 so here you actually second data starts so second data once it read this also becomes red color and it is r1 will be post incremented by 128 it will be added by 4 so it is 128 now second data is red now compare r2 and r4 r2 is 44 4 is this so if the first number is lower the first number is lower then uh, no need to exchange it will go to this so it is comparing now r2 comma r4 okay next it is uh, actually coming to branch if lower first number is r2 r2 is how much 444 four, four. this is this one now this is already lower no so that's why negative is coming r2 minus r4 so it is jumped this line and uh, decrement r5 by 1 why this number of comparison is 6 if 7 numbers 7 data are there 6 comparison so one comparison is done so you have to keep count how many comparison still we have to do so next we have to compare with only remaining five comparisons you have to do so decrement r5 by 1 next uh, again if r5 is not equal to 0 jump back go to loop okay then okay if it is not equal to 2 jump back so five times it will repeat Okay, every time you can observe post increment and all always the smallest number will be in uh, r2 only so finally you can check the answer in r2 and you can also transfer to memory also so here you can see in r2 111 is there that is the smallest number in a given array and you can also transfer that address is uh, 0x1100 so you have to get the address of the small number into r4 the address is uh, 010 that value should be copied to okay, this is the address of uh, that memory smaller number address and uh, in the second memory or uh, you have to type 0x1 followed by 7 zeros that number will be copied to memory also see here it came this is the smallest number so in the given array the smallest number is 0x1111 is the smallest number that is a answer. Thank you.